What's up YouTube family? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and today I have a special and fun tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to shrink yourself using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! In order to film these scenes, I recorded one scene. First of all, I used a tripod to film and I encourage the same way. But I also wanted a place where I can control the light and uh, the first time I did this I had problems because there was a shadow around me as you can see in the footage and it didn't come out as icy as it was supposed to be. Now here I am in the ba our basement and I recorded two scenes. One where I'm actually in the frame and you're also going to want to film one plain Jane with no one in it. Like, like so. Once you have those two scenes you put the one where you're in it on the top and the one where you're not on the bottom now from here this is where the fun begins so let's zoom in close and then we're gonna scrub through and I actually snap my fingers and at that point of snapping my fingers what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cursor right here and we're gonna come over here to the timing and we're gonna put a hold on that we're gonna hold that and then we're gonna drag this along the way of the whole duration of the bottom scene. Now these are these scenes are already pre-color graded, so I'm in the good. And then what right here, before the hold, we're gonna hit B on our keyboard and we're gonna blade it up. From there, we're gonna be doing some keyframing and we're gonna shrink ourselves because that's the whole purpose of this tutorial, right? To shrink yourself. So what we're first gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna come over here to effects, mask, and put your draw mask tool on top of the whole, the, the part we just held. From here, we're gonna do the most tedious thing in the world, but it's well worth it and we're gonna outline ourselves. So this may take some time. I'm not gonna bore you guys, but here's how you do it. And you literally go all around and you wanna get as precise as possible. I'm not gonna get all the way precise, but I'm gonna do my best. And I'm gonna speed this up because no one wants to see me do this for as long as it's gonna take. This is the longest part of the whole tutorial. Once you get past this though, everything's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, okay, so we finished that up. We got ourselves outlined. I could have did a little bit better, but it is what it is, all right? Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our keyframe. So we wanna make sure this, this part of the scene is selected that we literally went through for our draw mask. And we're gonna come over here to the right under transform. Now we're gonna wanna click on two arrow keys. Now again, make sure the scene is highlighted like so. Sorry for the interruption. Put it on silent. And we're gonna wanna click the plus button right here to add a keyframe on position. And we're also gonna do one for scale, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our mouse and we're gonna hit that right arrow key once. When we do that, we're gonna come to scale all and we're gonna move it down in increments of 10. So I'm gonna go 90. The next time, I'm gonna bring it down to 80. 80 minus 10, we're gonna go, this is math for y'all. Summer school edition. Okay, we can keep it six, nine. And I wanna go kick the right, click that right arrow frame to the right, and we're gonna keep going down and down. You guys, you gotta see what's going on. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But I wanna get to, I think I'm gonna stop at around 14, 15, that mark. You see how small I am here. Now, what we're gonna do, make sure it's selected here and we're gonna hit the right arrow key to the right. And we're gonna come down to this Y axis because the Y axis is actually gonna be the up and down. And we wanna make sure this bad boy goes down. Go down like an elevator. And we're gonna go 135. I'm gonna click here, click right. Again, let's go down more. And depending on how fast you want you guys to drop, 
that's when you can adjust. I'm gonna keep going down. Come back over here, hit right. And I'm gonna keep bringing it down till I hit the floor. The bigger the number you go, the faster you'll hit the floor. And I wanna wrap this up soon, so do one more. And then I'm there, dog. And then this is what it looks like so far. I'm chilling. Oh, what's goody? Yup. Click. Oh, and I'm shrunken. As you can see, even my lighting was a little off. And this is the small things. You guys can dial it in even better. But you can see it's a little bit lighter here and it gets a little darker. That's because of the sunlight. You want to make sure everything's controlled to get the best effects. Also, to add some flair to it, I went on YouTube and I downloaded a green screen smoke effect and I added a keyer to the green screen over here and now we have some smoke and, and we'll shrink this down. It's a little delayed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this closer in. Let's bring it back from the top. Run that back turbo. There we go. And you guys can add sounds as well when you hear that poof and you guys will be good to go. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to slap that like button for me right now. And if you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this in the future, as well as gear, unboxings, reviews, and filmmaking tips and strategies, don't forget, hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video, and as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya!